Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. Today we're going to be talking about something you may recognize from your childhood. I know as a kid, my mom would make stuffed peppers throughout the week for one, one of the dinners that week. And today I'm going to do my take on stuffed peppers, except you know I'm going to do it outside on my smoker. And it's a really easy recipe, but it's got some great flavors. And that's why it's good to go ahead and prep these. And then when you get home, you can throw them out on your smoker or grill set up for indirect heat. They're done in about an hour, so there's nothing to it. What we have today is just some bell peppers. Now you can use any color bell pepper that you want. You can see here that I've got um, orange, yellow, red, green, just a variety of them. I just think it looks good for the presentation. But all that you do is you take your bell pepper, you cut the top of it off, remove the stem, the seeds, and then kind of just clean out the inside best you can. Uh, there's nothing to it really, you can do it by hands. But what I do look for when I'm buying these bell peppers is the bell peppers with the kind of the flat base or the four segments. These are usually the female peppers is what I've heard. So the, we're cooking the female bell peppers so they'll set up straight. But you'll notice they're kind of sitting here on their own. If you use um, the other bell peppers that are, that are you know, kind of wobbly, you just want to get them in a, in a tight pan or something to hold them up. But I like cooking them this way so I can just put them on a rack and out in the smoker and I don't have to worry about them falling over. What are we gonna stuff these peppers with? That's the big thing. Today I'm using um, a pound of ground beef and a pound of Italian sausage that I browned off. And then I took the tops of the peppers, uh, removed the stem and chopped up the remaining pepper, mixed it with some onion, sauteed it with a little garlic, some fresh parsley and then some mushrooms. And then I cooked uh, one cup of rice. So we're gonna mix all this together, add a little bit of Italian shredded cheese Get all this mixed in the bowl and we're going to stuff it inside those peppers and that's it. It's ready to go in the cooker. So let's get this mixed up. So I'm just putting it all in a bowl. Sausage and beef, got my rice, got the onions and peppers on the veg. We're going to get this mixing. Then I'm going to fold in the cheese at the end. And the cheese is going to melt, but it's okay. It's just going to create a nice texture, a little creaminess to it. So now we're going to fold in about a cup of Italian blend cheese. Hey, use whatever kind of cheese you like here. I just like the way this Italian cheese kind of got a little seasoning to it. So you just want to spoon this uh, pork and beef and rice mixture into the peppers. It doesn't have to be packed real firm, but you just kind of want it level because I'm going to top these with more cheese at the end so it melts down and kind of cooks over them just right when they're done, about the hour mark. It's a simple dinner. It really looks great and it tastes unbelievable. And with the stuffing, you can put just about anything you want in it as well. So I'm kind of just mashing in now. Don't want to pack too tight, so I don't want to bust the peppers. But I want to make sure they're filled. So now I'm just going to move the peppers over to a rack so I can easily transport them out to the smoker when it's up to temperature. I'm going to go outside, get my smoker going. We're going to be looking at cooking these peppers at about 300 degrees. So it doesn't matter what grill you're cooking these on. If you're cooking on a charcoal grill or a propane grill, just set it up for indirect heat. Get all your heat on one side and cook on the off side. It's simple, it's easy to do. These peppers need about an hour to cook. So let me go outside, get the grill fired up. We'll get them on and we'll show you what they look like when they get done. Okay, we're gonna get these stuffed peppers on the smoker and I've got it filled. I've got my pellet grill here going with some Barbecue's Delight pecan pellets to give it a nice mild smoke. It's gonna be just right for these peppers. Just want to ease them down so they don't fall. Let them set right in the middle. We're going to close the cooker and we'll check on them in about a half hour, but it's going to take right at 60 minutes, one hour for these peppers to, to smoke. We're just trying to get them tender. Remember everything in there is cooked right at the very end. We're going to top them with some cheese so it gets all melty and it's going to be nice. Stick around. All right, I just want to peek in on these stuffed peppers real quick. It's been about 30 minutes. Oh, they're looking good, smelling good too. I still got a ways to go before we top them with cheese, but I'm starting to see a little color on them. That's what we want to see. Let's get it closed back down. Keep letting it smoke. All right, we got about 10 minutes to go on our peppers. I peeked at them and it's time to top them with cheese. We're starting to get some pretty good color on the peppers. You can see them start shriveling up just a little bit. That's how you know they're getting close to done and they're going to be tender. So now we just want to get some cheese on top. We're going to melt. These peppers will be done. It'll be time to eat. That's the important part. Now that looks good. We'll let this cheese melt. About 10 minutes, it'll be time to come back and take these peppers off the smoker. It'll be dinner time. 
All right, man. The cheese has melted on these peppers. It's been just about an hour and five minutes. I gotta let them go just a touch extra, just to make sure they were melted. Season the top just a hair with a little bit of AP seasoning. We're gonna get these peppers off now, take them inside. So just carefully lift that rack up, get it to the edge where you can grab it because it's hot. Wear some gloves or something to protect you while you're picking it up. Close it down. We're gonna get these inside. My favorite part, we get to eat them. Stuffed smoked bell pepper. All right, we brought these stuffed peppers back inside, got them off the grate, got them on a plate. This is kind of, you know how you can bring them to the dinner table. This was an easy recipe. I mean, we just took six bell peppers, different colors, doesn't matter what, cut the tops off of them, browned up a little Italian sausage with some ground beef, sauteed the tops of the peppers, chopped them up with some onions, some garlic, a little parsley, some mushrooms, seasoned it with just a little Greek seasoning. You can use some salt and pepper, garlic, whatever you like there. Mix that all together with a little bit of that Italian blend, shredded cheese, stuff the peppers 300 degrees for an hour. Then we topped them with a little more cheese and this is what we have. These peppers are tender, they got a little color on them. This is what you wanna see. Best part of the cooking process is right now, it's when you get to eat it. So I'm gonna take one off here. We're gonna cut into it. But you know I'm gonna try it. Just check that out, man. That looks really cool. Cut off a bite here. I don't know it's hot. Not that big a bite. Mm. The pepper's still sweet, but it's kind of caramelized on the outside a little bit where it's brown. And it's tender too. So man, it's got a little bit of texture on the inside, but the outside's real soft. The inside, all those flavors go together. You get the sausage and the beef and, and the mushrooms. Man, it's a really good dish. Hey, if you're looking for a good dish to try for dinner one night, give these stuffed peppers a try. Get them outside on the smoker. These peppers really pick up a lot of that grill flavor, a lot of that smoke from that wood we use today. They're real simple to do. You can prep these the day before, let them sit in the refrigerator, pop them on the grill or the smoker when you get home, an hour later you're gonna have a delicious meal. Thanks for checking out the video today. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. As always, we're gonna put out videos all year long. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter, so send us those comments or those requests. We love to see them. We'll see you next time.